The stakes were high for Jaguar's first SUV, and the F-Pace is a winning all-round package. It's for that reason it snatched our prestigious Car of the Year award. It's the new heavyweight in the compact SUV class, and to celebrate this we caught up with another heavyweight star, Watford-born IBF world champion Anthony Joshua to quiz him on cars, family, and of course, boxing. Well, first things first, petrol head? I was never really into cars, and I'm learning more, mm -hmm. So I never thought the opportunities would come to be in such luxury cars, and now I've had the privilege of working with some good people in the car industry, I think. I'm definitely growing as a car fan, yeah. as a petrol head, understanding yeah. the benefits of diesels as yeah. well. But um, I'm definitely understanding more about the luxury side of cars. So what do you drive now? Currently, I'm in a beautiful white Jaguar XJR. Yeah. Um, very spacious. See, you that know. if you're driving one of those, you must be a petrol head. I know. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't go over 30 mile an hour. No, of course. <laughs> I don't go over 30 of course. Mile an hour. It definitely doesn't go in sports mode. <laughs> it is cool, and it's a car that you want to cruise in. Mm -hmm. And it's a car that you want people to see you in. Uh, so. It's supercharged, so if I'm late to training, it's got the poke I need to get there on time. Yeah. But besides that, it's a really nice luxury car. And what about the image? Do you, do you like what it says about you? A hundred percent, because it gives across that business essence as well, because it's got that class to it. Yeah. And then it's got the sports touches where, you know, the younger crowd, a lot of my friends, when they see it, they're, they're quite baffled because it's a perfect combination. So what kind of cars are your mates driving then? Uh, Range Rovers, Land Rovers. Yeah some Mercedes, yeah. and, uh, but most of them actually in, in uh, Jeeps. So it's a, it's a good, good addition to the, uh, to the pack now that they've got this, because um, people could switch over. So what do you think of this then? Unbelievable, it's been needed. It's yeah. been needed, and that's yeah, yeah. why I think the XJR was a perfect choice before this came along, because people, you know, their, their cars are like their second home. So they need something affordable. My uncle's gonna get one of these. Yeah. It's very affordable and it gives you the space you need as well. But what I like is that it's not so bulky. Yeah. They've kept it the perfect combination if you like the slickness, the sportsness, but if you like the space as well. So is this your next next car then? I, I honestly wouldn't mind. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy with the XJR currently. I haven't test drove this yet, but until I get it out on the road, I won't be able to say, but from looks and space, it could work, it can definitely work. And is that why, the, that's why you're not driving a, an F-Type or something like that, it's just not big enough for you? It's good for the street cred, but not good for my, my physical structure, no. Is it just your physical structure or is it all your kit and everything like, what, what we'll makes- We'll find a way to get the kit in. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find a way to get the kit in, but you know, I, I had a sports car, I think it's the XK. Yep. Uh, I had that one and it was unbelievable. Yeah. You know, the, the roar on it, the look on it, the four exhaust, everything, I can go on for ages, the sports seats, but, I do long trips to Sheffield, mm -hmm. and to get here takes me about an hour as well, so I do a load of driving. But it was really good, but because of my size, to be in every day wasn't for me, and that's why the XJR was perfect until this has come along. So now they've got a few different options So perfect cruiser, just relaxed driving. Relaxed, petrol, it's, it's unique. I don't really see too many people in yeah. it, so it's very unique. They have different options, and I like the white as well. When it's clean, it just looks phenomenal. You can see it coming from a mile away. So what's your dream car then? What's the ultimate goal for you? You probably expect to say a Bugatti or something, yeah. but I'm happy the XJR for me is perfect. Yeah. Or, or Range Rover because of the space, it's slick. It's an everyday car. You can go anywhere in it. Mm -hmm. you can, I can put up next to a Ferrari in my Range Rover and it's, we're on the same level. So it's perfect for me. I know that's a sports car, but this is my everyday slick car. So for me, I'm happy with those two. Cause you bought your mum a Range Rover Sport, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, she got the, I think it's a black edition, yeah. a black pack. She, it's funny, she's so, so careful in it, but with all these new sensors and stuff, she's yeah. getting more confident. So yeah. it's nice. Yeah, it's nice for her to be in a car like that. Yeah. She didn't expect it. Yeah. And we surprised her. So it was a really good, um, a really good time for her. And she loves it? Yeah, she, she actually does love it. She really yeah. does love it. She goes around and work and, People think she's doing much better than she is and yeah. stuff like that, but she loves that. She loves the compliments. I don't think my, I think if I gave my mum a Range Rover Sport, she'd uh, she'd run a million miles. She's more of a mini kind of person. Is she? Yeah, yeah. So it's, I think the same as well. So that's what I'm saying with the space of it, with the yeah. sensors and stuff has helped her. But I think being high and having that authority on the road, I wanted her to experience that. Yeah. And she's getting used to it now. So. And we've got a big family, we've got a big family, so I think it's perfect for her, in a sense, yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna be buying them all cars soon? No, or? No, 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 no. What I can do is advise them yeah, yeah. on the best cars, I can put them in touch with the right people. They'll all be driving XJRs. This is, uh, yeah, they would be, to be fair, all, all the uh, F-types as well. Yeah, yeah. Have you had any, ever had any like accidents or bumps or scrapes? How strong this car is, funny enough, is my car was parked up, was at training camp, and then I've come out, and I've seen there's a little scratch 
on the side it's white so there's a little scratch and then the bonnet just popped out but you know when you just need to yeah the, yeah the back part popped out and i just tapped it back in i was thinking who the hell has hit my car so i'm looking around couldn't see and it was actually my coach's car <laughs> and he's reversed into Busted. it his car looked like it had been in a serious accident the jaguar just had a little scratch on it and the back had popped out so they're, they're, they're real strong cars. So tough. Yeah. Moving on a little bit to, to sort of boxing rather than cars, <coughs> how do you think things are, obviously you're not going to Rio, how are things looking for, for GB? I've managed to take myself to becoming a world champion, but funny enough, I've, I haven't left the setup. I've kept a real close relationship with them. I, I go there as much as I can to work with the boys. So mm -hmm. they've actually helped me progress from being an Olympian an amateur to becoming a respected professional. So that's how I know that the progress that they're going to make in 2016 will be phenomenal. As long as they can get it right and win four to five times, I think that, you know, we'll bring home a good, uh, a good number of medals. I don't want to put any pressure and say what colour they will be, but I definitely believe they're capable of getting, yeah. I think, five, five to six medals. Nice. And do you, do you ever miss competing in the Olympics? Well, it's hard because the Olympics is every four years. Yeah. So you wait a long time. But what I don't miss going to like the countries that no one knows about competing and being under the radar. It's, it's, it's grimy, it's hard. Boxing's it's tough, it's a gladiator sport, isn't it? Yeah. And the Olympics is where everyone shines. And when you turn professional, you take the success from the Olympics to the pros, which is pretty good. But what I do miss is the team spirit. When I first turned pro, I was training just me and my coach for, for years, just like out here. Just us two, it's a very one-on-one, -on -one lonely sport. So I miss that team spirit. That's why I try and keep a good relationship with them. Yeah. And do you have any tips or little bits of, little nuggets of advice for people who maybe want to follow in your footsteps one day? One of the top things I'll say is, you need to work hard to get yourself in a position. Then you can't be cocky, you've got to be humble because you need a bit of luck. I think you need that work ethic in general, understand what's right for you and what's wrong for you and apply more of what's right. You always need a bit of wrong in the mix because it gives you a bit of character. Yeah. But I think you need a bit more right. So keep on plugging away, better in yourself. And then as you're meeting people on the way, you need someone to just flip the switch and say, you know, I like that guy mm -hmm. and I'm going to do right by him and I'm going to try to push him onto the next level. And uh, I'll put those two things, so work ethic and personality. And when you've got them combined, the world's your oyster. Nice one. All right, thanks very much. Drive safe. <laughs> For more on the Jaguar F-Pace, take a look at our first drive by clicking on the window on the left. Or, for our impressions of the XF Saloon, click the window on the right. Click the play icon for our latest video and on our logo to subscribe.